Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and today you guys will be learning how to make GTA for Android. And the thing is that you don't have to write any code for it, so you don't have to write anything. And yeah, it will be really fun. So let's get started. So here I have a brand new scene and a project. So I have nothing in here except this scene. And yeah, that's that. So what you have to do is you have to go in the description box below and download Playmaker. If you have money or you can afford, you can also do, uh, uh, buy it on Asset Store. And I think you should do that. But if you can't buy it, if you can't afford it, then you should go ahead and click the link in the description box below and download Playmaker for free. And there you will find um, uh, this uh, this folder. All right, Playmaker new and you just have to copy these three uh, folders and drag and drop inside your unity project and it of course will take some time so i'm gonna pause the video so that uh, our time does not get wasted all right so uh, all the playmaker folders are here right now and there you can see when you do that you will uh, you find this playmaker tab over here so that is uh, the you know symbol that you have install playmaker so you should not get any errors because i'm not getting any uh, i'm using unity 2018.1.6 and yeah i'm not getting anything and i still used this in 2017 and uh, unity 2017 and nothing happened so you should not get any any errors all right then what you need to do is in order to make the android game using playmaker then what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and click the link in the description box below and download how to do touch system and you will find this thing how to do touch system and you just have to double click uh, when you download it you have to double click and it will open up in the, the unity and you have to just go ahead and import all of these um, scripts which I made for you guys so that you can make Android game using Playmaker because otherwise you won't be able to make Android games and that's that there we go but when I import it and you can see there are some some really bad uh, errors and you cannot clear them so what you have to do is you have to click one of them and when you come back to your project you will see that there uh, it, it leads to you uh, leads you to this animation animator folder so what you have to do is you have to just click it and delete it all right and there we go now you can see there is no error and yeah that is that all right so and there we go so playmaker is actually an asset that helps you to make games and develop any kind of a game without writing any uh, script any code and anything uh, it helps you make games really easily so it's like a flowchart you just have to connect nodes and yeah your game will be ready and that's cool so you have downloaded it and that's really cool and after that what you need to do is you need to have some kind of a character so if you have a character then that's really cool but if you don't have or if you don't if you can't make a character then what you need to do is you need to just go to uh, go to your browser and say uh, 3d model of human free download and there you will find a lots of a lot and a lot of uh, 3d models over here as you can see this one looks good you can see it's low poly and all that and you can download it for free so yeah and also you can buy some of these and they're really high quality like look at this one it looks just realistic it just looks realistic and you can just download it from here all right and buy it from here. so uh, yeah after doing that make sure you download obj file or fbx file do not download a c4d file or something like that because i don't think so um, it is compatible for unity all right and then next step is to animate that character all right so how to animate your character without wasting any time so here is the best site to do that animate 3d characters no 3d knowledge required rapidly create rig and animate unique characters for design projects so for to do that you need to just go ahead and sign up for free if you have adobe id um, then you can log in i have already so i'm gonna log in there and and there we go so 
you have lots of things over here so you can find the characters over here and also animations so if you don't have any character and if you can download anyone so you can find all of them over here so like this one looks good I'm gonna just take one of these all right um, well let's make it simple so let's just take this one the simplest one you can take anyone off or, or you can even download anyone it's all up to you and here you can see there are lots of animations going on here and you can also find uh, some of them over here search for anything like idle uh, my spelling are wrong so idle so here are the animations for idle let's just select this one and see so there we go he's animating well we want to make it casual so let's try this one and you can of course find anyone you want just go through and find anyone you want like I like this one so uh, what you like is you can just go ahead and download anyone so and if you have a character you can also upload it over here and drag and drop in here but the only files that are compatible over here are FBX and OBJ so make sure you do that and you can upload it in here and easily rig it it's not that difficult but I'm gonna use this one because it looks good to me so you just have to download it and it will ask you which format I'm gonna use the FBX for unity I guess yeah and 30 seconds are good with skin no and yeah other options are really good and you can also set it to FBS but I'm gonna use it for unity so let's check about this and then you have to download it and it's gonna start downloading and meanwhile he, like as you can see here, here is the animation and there we go it's downloaded let's just go ahead and drag and drop it inside the unity project just like this so here we go it's importing right now and here we have it all right and if we go to animations and if you play it as you can see he is doing that animation and that was really cool all right let's just go ahead and create a new folder called animations so that uh, everything or organizers and all that so in animations we will drag and drop all of our animations so here is the idol we can also find walk and I found one of that was swagger walk and this one I like this one like he's like a boss in here you can see so it's cool and you can find anyone if you want but I'm gonna download this one too same settings and it's preparing to download and there we go it's starting to download we can also find run in here run this one well yeah I think this one is a good one. <laughs> okay, let's make it funny. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I will go with that. Let's just go ahead and download that. <laughs> Look at him. Okay. standard run looks good okay so all of the animations are downloaded walk uh, run and idle let's just go ahead and drag and drop the walk first and then the run there we go so walk walk run idle cool now what you have to do is you have to select all of them and you have to go to rig and you have to select the animation type to and set it to generic uh, humanoid sorry from generic to humanoid make sure you do that and apply so that 
so that oh come on it takes some time so that each of the uh, character is uh, each of the animation is set to human eye all right and i want all of these to loop okay so i have to go in each of them and i have to go individually and say loop so that it and the animation does not stop so right here it's gonna continue and let's just select all of these let's see what happens so this was the idol go in here and match match and it's not matching in here so i don't think so i will uh, i will check it so let's leave that one and also come in here and do the same thing do not uh, loop the pose because it's gonna st oh, um, start running in the same place or something like that we don't want that so let's, let's set it like that cool and i'm gonna say apply so all of them all of the animations are set now and we have the playmaker in here and we also have the how to do touch system and yeah that was it for today's video and in the next video you will be able to see how to get started with the playmaker and how to make the movements and how to animate and all that stuff so if you want that go ahead and subscribe to my channel it's how to do and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you in my next video till then be cool